Hey there, Super Geek World, or World World of Nerds. Uh, here is September's Super Geek box. I wasn't sure if I had gotten any more box, and it's apparent that boxes, rather, that I did. So I'm opening it up now. Uh, I don't remember the theme. I'm gonna, just going to do a quick, as quick as I can, breakdown of it. Um, there's only a handful of things in here, so it's going to be very quick. So I'm put this off to the side here. First is, let's see, rest in peace, ah, Pokemon, cool, Pikachu, beats up Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff always makes everyone else sleep, rest in peace, it's cute, right. uh, material, not so great as usual from Super Geek Box, no, is that usual, it's not, uh, it's not soft, you know what? It's the smaller sizes, like not smaller, but extra large is a little stiffer. Where the double X is softer, ironically. Although this isn't so bad, this will wear well. Um, I will definitely cut it, but I'll also definitely wear it. And here is next up, Luigi. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's a cute doll. It's actually made well. It's soft, uh, like a fuzzy material, squishy. Not a dog toy for sure, but it is good stuff. Let's see, ironically, made in China. Ironic because it's Mario, Nintendo, Japanese. Alright, um, oh, that's cool. I'll never wear that because I am a hairy guy, uh, as you can see. But it is down, down right, right, punch. And that is. The combo, I believe that is Mortal Kombat though. It's not Luke Kane. Oh, let's see. Looks like something that would be Mortal Kombat. Uh, the video is backwards, so take that into account. One of those jelly bracelets or whatever they're called. Um, next up, so let's see what the theme was. Only looks like two things left. One is a pin, Mr. Game and Watch. Good. Oop, uh, Super Smash Brothers. I'm guessing was part of the theme. I don't remember. And looks like a lanyard. Of some sort. Yes, it is. Uh, Kirby. So this is all Super Smash Brothers. It's a Kirby lanyard. Um, I don't know what this thing does. Maybe you can write your name on it or whatever. Maybe it's cool if you're going to Comic Con. Hello, my name is uh, Lanyard slash Necklace. That looks to be it. Oh, decal. Uh, I don't know if that can go in a car. Yeah, it is a car decal. Uh, I don't know if I'd put that on my car, though. Um, first, you wouldn't see it, because I have you know, black tints. I wouldn't put it on the car itself. I'd put it on the um, the window, the glass. That's why I fuck the paint up. Um, but it's actually kind of cool. I might actually consider that, Mr. Game & Watch, at 9 actually consider putting that on my car. That's... I don't know. My buddy has a white car. Maybe I'll put it on his car just to be a dick. The white Camaro. Uh, let's see. What is Super Geek Box? Breaker Bracelet. Unleash your inner street fighter. Not Mortal Kombat. Uh, what's this? Super Geek Box exclusive like a bat. Oh, there's a magnet. Japan, and as you can see, that background esque. Well, not Japan, China. Okay, now uh, the sunset. Oh no, the sunset is uh, Japan. Irrelevant. It looks kind of like a dictatorship. Star Wars. I don't know. It looks familiar. My brain is not in the right place to figure it out right now. So there's no paper. Oh, the theme. Sure. Uh. Just do it later. Oh, I missed that one. Well, I'll live. 
It was last month's Super Geek Box, I guess. Uh, Gotta Conquer Them All, Star Wars, Pokemon, Destiny Bundle. Mm. Rumble was the theme. Rumble, everyone. There you go. Rumble, Street Fighter, Kirby, Super Smash Brothers, uh, Super Smash Brothers, uh, Mario. All right. Uh, Mario or Super Smash Brothers, depending on how you call it. All right, it's all right. Super Geek Box, not disappointed entirely. You know, um, I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with this little bugger. This is cool, but where to put it? I have a black fridge, so that won't work. Uh, I could probably put it on the wall behind me if it'll fit. Anyway, guys, um, have a geeky day. I don't think this helped anyone uh, as far as what should you get. Loot Crate was okay. You're always going to get something that you don't really care about, I think. No matter what, unless you like everything geek, unless you're that kind of nerd where you can literally do everything, like you have no time for anything other than video games and movies, you're not going to give a fuck about some of the references. Just as it is. Um, like, I got this from Loot Crate. Gone in 60 seconds. Eleanor. Really cool. 20 years, not 20 years ago, 16 years ago. Came out in 2000. Battlestar Galactica. I just don't care about it. Uh, that's that's just what it is. Um, Street Fighter. I was actually never that big into Street Fighter. I liked Mortal Kombat more. I know I'm going to get some blowback from that. Uh, especially for my buddies. Just I hate that. Sh you know, they, they love Street Fighter. Or, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway... Is it worth it? Under 20 bucks. I got a shirt. Uh, I got a magnet. I kind of got a cool decal. Um, from the things that I like, I would say it's kind of worth it. Um, I mean, the decal alone I probably would have spent five bucks on. And it does make sense that it's black because Mr. Game and Watch, but it's just going to be a bitch to find a place to put it other than maybe the wall behind me. Um, there you go. Loot Crate, okay. Super Geek Box, pretty good. Overall, Super Geek Box is still a, a solid, solid bet, a uh, solid choice. Um, one Up Box is okay also. Loot Crate, I mean, they're all about the same price, especially with a coupon, you're not really saving much. So, if you like a theme, go for it. Doesn't matter the box. You'll get disappointed on no matter what. You'll be happy about one or two things no matter what. Uh, that's, that's just what it is. Enjoy.